all the family, man, the family, the family is good. The kids is good. They grown. You feel me? NC this is about the type shit. But man, yo, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, I was say definitely about that. Hey, listen, McCoy, come on now, come on now, get out my VC pockets, man. You feel me? Listen, who in here said I gotta find a shot though? Who, that before I went live, I was already doing this. You do you understand? Before I went live, bro. I was already shooting around for five hours. Bro, I've been shooting around for 10 hours, bro. I've been shooting around. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck, man. So, I got on the game, right? I got on the game. And, uh, man, it was it was, it was was a little difficult, man. I ain't going to lie, I already quit. I quit, like, I quit, I quit about 30 minutes ago. Then I got back on it. So, I was like, you know what? I ain't going to even do it like that. Cause look, I went about the game right, and I and I bought the I bought the PS5 today. Uh, you know, Morgan got my other PS5. So I went about the game, man, and I got on the game, bro. And I can't do nothing, man. I, I'm out here trying to do a combo. Y'all already know I can't dribble, but man, this stuff was like scary. So I'm out here trying to do a combo, right? And uh. Man, I cut I cut the game off. Yeah, I cut the game all the way off. I cut the game off and went straight to Netflix. And um, you know, I took a I took a two minute nap. I took a two minute nap, and then I said, you know what, I'm gonna get back out there, man. I'm gonna get back out there. So I've been practicing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. I had gave up. I had gave up for real though, but I'm gonna stick with it though. I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it all year. Um, Y'all know I, I'm in it. I I got a I got a, a jizz up. I got a job, so uh, I'm gonna play it on the weekdays, some on the weekends. But you know we're gonna try to have fun with it, man. Um. I got a new approach to this thing, and I'm just giving y'all the rundown, man. You know, I'm just chopping it up with y'all right now, just letting y'all know where I've been and what I got going on. Um, man, I'm 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 into things that I wanna I wanna talk to y'all about. Of course, you know, it's a lot that I wanna discuss with y'all. It's a lot that has been going on in my life. A lot of growth. The game's actually good. He said the game is actually good. It's a chance, especially give it a chance, especially when you uh, get your badges. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. You know, I guess I just was tripping. Yo, shout out to my guy, man, coming in with the big gift of sub, man. I definitely appreciate that. Thank you, my boy. Appreciate that. Grateful. So, welcome back, man. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm gonna I'm try to stay in, man. I'm gonna stay in this time. Um, like I said, man, a lot has changed for me. You know, um. I'm a little scared of the 2K. I'm gonna be honest. I'm scared, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid of 2K, cause I don't have any discipline. 2K was one of my kryptonite. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a grinding. So, yo, appreciate the resub, man. Thank y'all for the support, man. Truly grateful. So, I'm afraid of 2K. You know what I'm saying? As y'all see, I'm greening from half court. I'm afraid of 2K because 2K is one of my, is one of my addiction, and um. Y'all know for the people that were rock with me, man. Y'all know how it is. And like I said, I'm gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm. A, I'm not saying this because, um, to to you know, because I want. I hey, listen. This is a business now. I, I'm treating 2K like a business, and I got so much I want to talk to the upcoming streamers, especially. Um, I don't want to say his name, but man, I definitely want to have a, a a serious conversation with a couple guys. Um, for a streamer wise because um, what I learned y'all I failed myself and I failed my community um, I learned so much since I've been gone and y'all notice every time I be gone I, I, I come back with knowledge I learned I learned so much since I've been gone man I don't know how long I've been gone but how, however long I've been gone I learned so much and the reason that um 
I think um, I feel like I let myself down and I let um, a lot of my community down because I mistake. I, I I I was in. I felt entitled, and I think that's what's going on with a lot of the people in the 2K community. We we feel entitled to a good game. We feel like 2K owe us, and I want to let y'all know because I'm um you know I'm on the business mindset now. You know I have a I have a a business mind where it's growing. It, it's not all the way there, but it's it's getting there. And what I learned is that anonymous 2K TV treated 2K like 2K was his friend. I treated 2K like 2K owed me. I treated 2K like like it was a drug that had to support my habit. You know what I'm saying? What I mean what I mean by that is, you know, when you become a star in whatever you're doing, we all get an ego. And uh, I think my ego got the best of me. Um, because I, I no longer was grateful. And when you're not grateful, you move, you move accordingly. You move, you move in a way that you feel demanding. You know, it's just like a logo. There's so many 2K streamers right now feel like they deserve a logo. But see, at the end of the day, you got to understand your position. You know what I'm saying? You are a you are just a byproduct in a business, in a multi, I don't know if 2K a billion dollar company, but whatever, however much they're worth, you know, you are not the only person that play 2K. And I think a lot of us, man, we get so caught up in that mindset, we think 2K is made for us. <laughs> man, we gotta grow up, you know what I'm saying? We got to grow up and realize that 2K is made for millions of people around the world, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Anonymous, that's what I fail to realize. You know, I treated 2K like it was my whore. And she belongs to only me. And she should do as I please. You know, like, like look at a lot of us. We want the game to be made in our image. You feel me? We want the game to be made to our benefit. You know, we don't want, we don't want, um... We don't want things that we don't want. You feel me? And listen, I, I'm, I'm finna get to the realness, but I just wanna give y'all an update on what's been going on in, in my mindset, cause I got so much I wanna talk to y'all about. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know, you know what I learned about me is I'm a blessing to the 2K community. I'm gifted, you know what I'm saying? And, and what I mean by I'm gifted is I'm different. We all are different. But what I do know is there is nobody in the 2K community that is willing to do what I have done. And let's take the realness because a lot of us, we come to this video game to separate ourselves. We, tr we come to get a break. Yeah, I know. But in the real world, there's no breaks. And you know what else I learned? I learned that I was scaring a lot of y'all. I scared a lot of y'all by talking about things that don't really matter. You understand what I mean? See, as a content creator, as an influencer, it's my job to motivate, to instill love, to instill peace, to push you to succeed, to push you to do more. And what I did was I scared a lot of y'all. I scared y'all with conspiracy theories, which I do believe in conspiracy theories and shit like that. But is that going to change your life? You see, that's what I learned since I've been gone. Anonymous been worried about everything but the things that can improve his life. I've been worried about who gonna win the election. I've been worrying about is aliens real or not. I've been worrying about clones. I've been worried about um, how much, how many, you know, subs I got, how many views I got, how many, you know what I'm saying? Am I the best 2K player? What the fuck? Is that gonna change your world? Is that gonna change your life? Is that gonna make you a better man? Is that gonna make you a better woman? You know what I'm saying? So. A lot of us, we get we so caught up in all these different, these different things that are going on in the world that we really losing. And what I mean by we losing, we really going through suffering and pain, worried about suffering and pain. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, yo, anonymous. Damn, tell me about yo. You know, like my boy Kill, he hit me up today. You know what I'm saying? And I and I know he was like, yo, you heard about the shooting? 
And I'm like, yeah, I heard about it. But at the same time, I don't want to talk about that. You know why? Because, yes, that's something that's real that's going on. But, bro, I'm going to tell you like this. When you worried about other people's lives, you losing in your own life. And I'm not saying you can't care about others. But what I'm saying is you have no business worried about my life if your life ain't in order. You can't be on here wishing anonymous love and praises if you ain't wishing yourself love and praises. So everybody that's in here right now, and you happy that I'm back, you happy to be rocking with me, man, I appreciate you. But I want you to give me, I want you to give yourself the same love that you claiming to give me. Don't come in here and give me no more love than you give yourself. Please. Because that's what the real goal is. The real goal is to find you. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of us, we come in here and we want these breaks. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here for that. Let's have a little break. But man, make sure you loving yourself. You feel me? What's good? Blessing. Shout out to everybody that come in. Like I said, I just wanted to catch y'all up on, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of stuff, man. And I'm, and for my up and coming streamers that, that popping in and sending the cut, let me ask you this. Is talking about the game every day in a negative way? Does it really help you? Does it really help you? You know how much time I waste talking about a game that I beg to put me in a position? You know how stupid that made? You know what? See, when I, when I, as I've been going, like I told you, my job is to grow. My job is to grow. So whatever I'm doing in life, I'm trying to grow in it. But you know how silly it looked for you to talk about a game every day and still play it <laughs> guess what i couldn't see it either while i was doing it but once i stopped playing 2k and i and i stepped back and you know this one person I always come to my mind man you know me and him fell out because he said some you know that um that dude one with knowledge one with knowledge y'all know who i'm talking about uh i know he i know he was real close with mvp him one with knowledge you know, you know, me and him had fell out because he had said he like a nun. You complain about the game, but you still playing it. And you know, I had got mad. You know, and I was like, nigga, what the fuck you mean, nigga? I pay you my goddamn money. You damn right, I'ma say something. Yeah, the dude with the dread. And you know, he a very wise man. And man, I always remember him. I always think about him whenever. You know what I'm saying? Whenever. As I was going through my process of, of rebuilding and learning what's real and what's matter. And I just kept thinking about that. Y'all, that's so crazy that we sit up here every day talking about a game in a negative way and still playing it. That's so crazy. So I said to myself, you know how much energy I wasted talking about the game that I wanted to give me a logo, fly me out. Like, think about this. To all my... To all my young dude, my uh, uh, my streamers that in the cut right now, bro, you wasting time. Why, why continue to be on the side of against 2K and you still gonna be indulging in it? You still gonna play it? Why waste your time, man? Shout out to all the guys and girls that play 2K and don't take it that serious because at the end of the day, it's not that serious. It's a video game. You'll have a better chance. Cause look, look at the track record. Look at Cash Nasty. Look at Shakedown. Look at Flight Rack. Well, we can't say Flight Rack, but we can't. Let's let's throw Flight Rack in there. Let's look at a new one. Yo, appreciate the free sub, man. Thank y'all. Look at all these people that are where we wanted to be, but we was complaining. Those people weren't complaining. And if they was, guess when they started complaining? After they got in the door. Let's look at Annoying Hunt. Annoying Hunt wasn't against 2K. Until he got peer pressure. You know that's my opinion. But what I'm saying is. Why are you wasting time complaining about the game bro. You really can be getting a bag bro. You really can be putting this shit aside. And going in there and doing work with 2K dog. And I'm not speaking like. When I'm, you know, for the people that are confused right now, like a nun, we, you know, you was one of the biggest cri criticism of, of uh, critiques of 2K. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, bro, I waste so much time and energy 
Because at the end of the day, this is a business. And they don't cater to me. 2K don't cater to you. Because why? This, they have a monopoly on the game. They have a monopoly on the game. So, yes. I know some people do it. Some people are going to still do it. Because that's just who they are. They are just negative people. They are just people that are looking for the bad. You know what I'm saying? But if it's really that serious and it really bothers you that much, then don't play it. And that's what I learned. You know what I'm saying? I, I learned I learned and I and I, I had a real realization that, you know what? If the game bad, so what? <laughs> I don't have to play it. I don't have to play it. Because they're they they are never gonna satisfy everybody. They're never gonna satisfy everybody. But it's a video game. This game should not be more important than our everyday life. This game should not get us to the point where we're angry. Where we're upset. Yeah, we want to win. Who don't want to win? You feel me? Because we all been been hit with that curse. Winning. That, that winning curse. We all have got hit with that bug. So, of course, we want to win. But what I am saying, y'all. um, Man, don't let this game... Don't let this game turn you into something that can ruin you. You know, the moment you start thinking negative and being negative, that's what you become. So, uh, I'm back at this video game because I understand that it's a video game. And it's for moments of enjoyment. It's not for me to invest all my love and attention and my spirit into it to because I'm looking for it to fulfill something for me you know what I'm saying so I especially want to say that to, to some of you up becoming streamers dog you guys have the potential to you know man I'm just gonna say it or well, I don't want to say his name because I don't know I don't know how he feel right now you know, I, I heard him talking about, I heard him speaking. But man, some of you guys, you have the potential to be where you say you want to be. But who want to bring in somebody that's negative, disgruntled, always unhappy at a video game? You got to think about that. This is a video game. And you out here raging and spitting and cussing and upset. And you want to do this? You talking about harming and all? Like, it's a video game. Man, we better take it back, bro. We better get back to reality. This is a video game. Please, y'all. Understand that. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to play this game, man. And I'm enjoying it for what it's, what it's worth. You know, I'm not, um... I'm not trying to tell nobody how to move and live their life, but I'm, I'm telling my guys that are, especially these guys that's one of the up and coming successful content creators. What's good, dog? I need somebody to hoop with too, though. I need, yo, where do I go to do my drills? I know I'm all, I'm all over the place right now, but I just wanted to get this out the way, man. Some of you guys have the potential to be so big in this community, but you're you have you've been filled with the wrong ideal and I and I am and I have a part in that you feel me I am I am at fault I am at fault to some degree because I help pause in the community because I have gave a role to people that want to speak negative you know what I'm saying so it's like everybody that want to speak negative, come over here at Anonymous 2K TV. You know we finna clown this shit. Really? Why wasting my time, dog? Why wasting my time? Yo, if you dating a female, are you looking for her to cheat on you, or are you enjoying the moment and loving what she bringing to the table and what y'all doing? You, you know what I'm saying? You ain't out here looking for wrong. You ain't, you know. Guess what? Shit gonna pop up. She ain't gonna be perfect. 
But do you guys, man, fuck this goddamn game. Man, fuck them stupid ass people. They don't know how to make no game. Man, stupid ass running 2K. Stupid ass Mike Wayne. What? Do that sound like a relationship anybody want to be in? Do that sound like a relationship that can go forward in life? So to my upcoming streamers, bruh, I know some of y'all can't change overnight. Shit, bruh, look, it took me a long time. It took me to lead the game to realize this. Bro, why waste your time on the wrong side of business? Because you doing it for a business. You're doing it for a business. It's not like you playing it because I I just like playing and I just like live streaming. No, you actually want to grow. You actually want to be a part of the 2K business. So why stress yourself out? Go back and turn left. Damn. Okay. I'm trying to get to the Gatorade facility, man. I'm tripping. My bad. I'm, right, we finna be talk. We finna be done talking about this. But I just want to say, man. Yo, enjoy, enjoy the game. Enjoy it for for what it is. Turn back and go right. Okay. Enjoy it for what it is. It's a video game. It's not gonna be perfect. Don't let this game stress you out. Don't let the community stress you out. Don't let people trick you out of your opportunity. To you young boys and you young girls that's out here, man. Yo, you can really make something out of this. You can really make something out of this. But if you looking up to people like Anonymous 2K TV. For his negative critiques of 2K, if you're looking like, if you're looking up to these other content creators, that's gonna give you these uh, negative outlooks on the game, man. You know, you're gonna let you're gonna let the wrong people influence you, and you know what? You ain't gonna have no, you ain't gonna have nothing from this. All you're gonna do is be an angry person with a couple hundred views, when you can be a happy person and you can travel to these events. You can make content. You can do business. All right. Okay. My bad, y'all. Let me let me find. Where the fuck the game? Is this the game the raid facility? I don't know where I'm at. But okay. Uh, let's see what it is. This is not the game raid facility. All right. Yo, do I got anybody trying to play, man? For real, for real. You feel me, dog? Listen. Hey, man. I still know how to pass, dog. If I don't know, yo. For everybody that's saying where the face cam at, I'm gonna have the face cam tomorrow. Where I been? So y'all know I'm in the security business now. Um, I have made it to a position in my life where uh, I can do security and play the video game. So I've been doing security for for a while. Before, you know, I used to do security back in the days, but I got back in it. Um, I'm out here in Miami now. Oh, there you go. I'm out here in Miami now, man. And uh, I've been out here working with these, with these entertainers. And they, and this, these are the people they've been giving me game. You know, man, cause I'm I'm around a lot of successful people, man. You know what I realized? <laughs> the people that are complaining and looking for the negatives and all that shit those are the losers see you can be a lose see you can still be a winner and not be winning but a person that's complaining and all he's doing is disgruntled looking for the wrong looking you know ain't no happiness come like those are the real losers because you are already giving up where the trail mill at uh, damn this shit look different well, I'm lost in the motherfucker. I'm gonna be I ain't never been that lost on 2K, boy. Your boy out here scraggling right now. My boy said he would like to report a crime. Someone has went live on anonymous account. Nah, this is me, baby. Nah, this is me, dog. Man, I'm, I'm happy to be back. I'm fresh. I'm back with a different mindset. I'm back, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm feeling good, man. But I'm gonna tell you, like, I'm gonna tell you this. You know, man. Um. I got so much to talk about, man. But I know we ain't gonna be able to talk about it all in one day. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. I just booked my daughter first consultation. My daughter is on her way to be a book writer. My daughter right now has four or five books. So I booked her her first consultation. Her first consultation with a, with an author is this Saturday. 
We got another consultation Sunday. You know what I'm saying? That's what the type of moves. I bought my first stock. You feel me? Listen, I'm 32, y'all. And the stuff I'm saying to some of y'all, you've been there and done that. But guess what? It's all right, baby. What, what, they, what I learned is never too late. It's never too late. You can change your life at 40. You can change your life at 30. You can change your life at 17. You can change your life at 21. It's never too late, y'all. And that's what I learned, bro. So I bought my first stock, which I'm proud of. You know what I'm saying? I bought my first stock like, like, like three weeks ago. Um, I'm in the stock business now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I'm, a, I'm an investor now. You know, and I know to, you know, like I said, you, you got, we gotta start, man. See, a lot of us, we don't start. We just sit back and watch other people succeed. What the fuck? Who, who, who just want to sit back and watch other people succeed and and complain about? Oh, I'm black. Oh, I'm white. Oh, I'm Asian. Oh, I'm Chinese. Oh, I'm Hispanic. Oh, I'm Jamaican. Man, fuck where race is. Are you playing the game? And what I learned is there's a game. There's a money game, and there's a victim game. There's a race game, and there are so many games in life. But the games that are winning, love, being financially stable, being understanding, being uh, being in understanding of your surroundings, learning the ins and out of this thing called business, dealing with people that not gonna always live up to your expectation. You know, a lot of us we have expectations that we try to put people in and we try to make people live up and demand things out of people but you know you can't do that you got to just live life and go with what you know learn keep adapting because everybody gonna change nobody stays the same and you know we grow each and every day man so i'm in a full mode of growth right now you know what i'm saying all i do is in indulge and learn this shit but that just that's just a little update man you know more to come more to come man you know, but it's all positive. I don't, I don't do no negative conversation. Uh, you can't talk to me about no negativity. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe me? Ask cat. Anything negative, you get a dial tone. I don't do no negative conversation. That's what I have learned. You keep all your negative thoughts, all your your bad luck, and your, all your juju, and, and you, no, nah, bro. Tell me your solution. Don't tell me your complaint. I don't want to hear your complaint. I want to hear what you got to do. What you going to do to fix it. Don't tell me about. Anonymous. I lost my job. Well how many applications did you fill out. The moment you knew you lost your job. We don't We do not do complaints over here no more. So we don't talk about no video game. We don't sit and waste hours. Talking about the game is bad. The game sucks. Well. What you gonna do? <laughs> you know, so that's the page I'm on. You know, now I'm not criticizing anybody that still choose to, you know what I'm saying, go down that road. Uh, hold on, boy, I done lost my, I done lost my hand eye coordination. I, uh, I done got, oh. Uh, dang, what? We done got slow, then. We done got some old men things. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't got the old man fingers, dog. But yeah, man. Um, we 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 positive over here, man. All positive, man. Keep 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 your negative thoughts to yourself, man. I I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Come and tell me how you feeling, good wise. Tell me what you what you plan to do tomorrow. That's gonna be a blessing to yourself or somebody else for real, though. You know. But um, you know, like I'm gonna give you another example. I'm gonna give you another example. Like um not not talking about not, not talking about you, Kel, but um I got a phone call early this morning about, hey, you seen on the news Rich Homie Corn passed away? Um Okay. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, I say that. Okay. Now how is that gonna help my day? 
You know what I'm saying? This is the type of... See, this is, we got to stop letting people bring stuff to us that don't really concern us. Like, I, I ain't saying we don't care about the death of um, no, 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 you know, the young brother. You feel me? But what I am saying is, if I was interested in that, I'd search it myself. I don't need you to make a... You calling me about what? You ain't calling me to say... Yeah, I just I just uh, read this new book, you know what I'm saying, on so-and-so because I'm trying to flip something and, you know, I'm trying to work on this new idea. And who, you calling me to tell me about a who and a what? Oh, man, get out of my phone, man. Yeah, all right, I'm going to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about you, Kel, because Kel did that too. Kel, he texted me like, you said it. <laughs> nah, but yeah, you know, man, it just... We have to we have to be responsible for our own energy, y'all. But we can't let people come in our life with negative thoughts and, and conversation that don't really benefit us. Like, no disrespect, but you telling me about somebody that I don't really know or never had any dealings with, like well it don't benefit me. Well you know, no disrespect. I say it respectfully. But what does he what that do for me? That don't help me. That don't start my morning off. Come on, get on around right here. Get on around right here. All right, but yeah, man. Yo, all right, let's get to this 2K stuff. Let's get to the 2K stuff. I think I done rambled enough. Man, I appreciate y'all. I've been going a minute, man. Like I said, I've just been working. You know, I'm a workaholic, man. That's what I do. I get it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here protecting the best of them. Let me tell y'all this. I have worked with LeBron James. You feel me? I know a lot of y'all care about stuff like that. You know, so I'm just going to say that just to throw that in there. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here getting it. Um, I done worked with some of the best of the best. Now, I ain't going to be calling no names and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to just say that name right there. You know, let you know that I ain't been out here on no BS. Um, now, if you ask me for pictures, this is um, this ain't no, no type of, oh, let me take a picture with you. <laughs> let me tell you this. LeBron <laughs> James do not play about them pictures. <laughs> That boy, that boy right there though. I ain't gonna say too much, but <laughs> that boy right there I ain't trying to hit nothing about no picture. 